In this problem, we've got the children on the inside. We're going to analyze how many genotypes and what percentage they can come up in, or we're going to do what's called a ratio. To do the ratio, you're going to put colons between each of the possible combinations of genotypes that can exist, and then you're just going to count up how many fit there are of that one. There are none of the big B, big B ones. You just put a zero there. There are two of the big B, little b ones. So you're going to put a two of those, and then a colon, and then there are two of the little b, little b combinations. You can just leave it like that if you want to, if it's nice and easy, or you can reduce it like you would a fraction and say, well, there's none of those, so I'm going to leave that out. And two to two is like dividing two by two, and you end up getting one over one. So you can just call this a one big B, little b ratio to a one little b, little b ratio. Two out of four of the children are little b, little b. Two out of the four children are big b, little b. Or you could say it like a percentage. 50% of the children are big b, little b. And 50% of the children are little b, little b. But when you're asked for the genotype ratio, you have to be describing the letter combinations, the genes that those two little children received, that whatever number of little children received. Phenotype ratio is what the feature looks like. These that have a capital B will have brown hair. So those two are going to have brown hair. These two that have no capital Bs are going to look blonde. So those two will be blonde hair. Again, you could reduce it and say you have a one to one chance of having blonde or brown hair. 